In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create an ERC20 token using the Third Web dashboard. Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Daniel aka Hashlips and welcome back to my channel. Have you ever wanted to create your own token on the blockchain? Well, here is your chance doing it with Third Web. I'm going to be showing you this but this video actually forms part of a bigger series. And if you want to follow along from the start, you can go to my playlist and follow along with the third web with Hashtips playlist. Although this video would work independently, following that playlist will give you more context on the dashboard and what we are actually looking at. So far in this playlist, we have actually created an ERC721 token as well as a 1155 token. And now, we're about to create the ERC20 token. So let's go ahead and do so. Go to the dashboard and there's a link in the description of this video. Let's then click on deploy a new contract. At this point, it's a good idea to make sure that you connect it to MetaMask as well as be on the right network that you want to deploy to. I'm going to deploy this on the Rinkeby test network. All right. Now, if we go and look at all the options available, we can see there's a token drop as well as a token. The token contract is more for if you want to do on-demand tokens. Well, we want to actually look at the token drop, maybe giving it a price or make it for free. So once you are happy, go and click on deploy now. This screen will pop up and now we're going to fill in some details such as our name, symbol, description and image. For the image, I'm simply going to select my mask logo. I'm going to call this Daniel token and then maybe that for my symbol and here call it my token. Perfect. Now talking about the payment settings and for those individuals who have been following along in the series, you'll notice that these fields are all exactly the same. I highly recommend watching the previous videos because it will give you great context, especially the ERC721 video. Anyway, in this field over here, you'll need to put the recipient's address, the person who's going to receive the initial sales of this token. Previously in the videos, we've talked about the advanced configuration, but basically it comes down to if you are doing this service for someone and you want to add your percentage in here for the initial sales, you can do that. But in a normal circumstance where you are the deployer for your own project, that's not necessary. Then all we need to do is select the network we want to deploy our token to. Now you can select the main network if you want to. Actually, you can do it on Polygon, Phantom or Avalanche. We're going to deploy this on the test network. Now, if you want to deploy and you're not on that network on MetaMask, it will actually tell you. So we can switch our network to this one over here and click then on deploy. MetaMask will pop up and ask us to confirm. So let's do that. And now our token is being deployed and it's very cool. So once it's successful, it should take us back to the dashboard and there we'll see our token configuration. And there we go. This is now exactly the same dashboard that we get for all the previous videos that I've shown before. I highly recommend watching the ERC721 video. I go in detail with all these fields. But in a general sense, the next thing that you'll need to do is set up a claim phase. We'll need to set up a claim phase to indicate to people when they can start claiming these tokens. So once we do this, you can see there's a few parameters that we can fill in. Like before, we get to set the date that we want this whole process to start. You can set it over there. Then we need to select the amount of tokens that we are going to drop. I don't want to leave this to unlimited. So what I'm going to do is set this to a thousand. I want a thousand tokens to be able to be claimed and for a price. So I'm going to make my price 0.0001. Then the currency that people are going to claim this with is going to be Ethereum. Now we get to say who gets to mint these tokens. We can leave it to any wallet, which means the whole public, or we can specify a list of wallets providing a CSV file. 
If you want to know what file to upload, you can click on the download over here. There's also a better explanation of this in the ERC721 video. For now, I'm going to leave this to any wallet. For this field, we get to specify the amount of tokens per transaction. Now, I want to limit people a little bit, seeing that there's only going to be a thousand tokens for this phase. I'm going to say people will be able to do and claim 20 tokens per transaction. And the amount of seconds that they have to wait in between, I'm going to leave it at zero. Additionally, you can add another phase as well. But for now, I'm happy. I'm going to say save my phase and we'll wait for MetaMask to ask us to confirm. Once we've confirmed this, we can basically wait for this date and time to take place and people will be able to start buying our token. Now our claim phase is saved and we just have to wait. It's also important to note that if you had made this price zero, then what could happen is you have a freely available claimable token. Just that being said, when you do deploy tokens, just be careful with regulations and make sure that you keep the regulations in your country. Perfect. Now let's go back to our overview and look at the rest of these tabs. For the permissions tab, what you have here is you as the owner, the admin, and you have the admin role. As an admin, you can also grant another admin access to this token to do stuff with. If you want to renounce from the contract, you simply remove yourself from this contract and then no one owns the contract. But please be careful when you play around with these kind of permissions. You can also make the token non-transferable over here. So if you don't know what you're doing, this could be dangerous. So just leave it alone if you're not sure. We've spoken about the claim phases tab, but now I want to look at the embeds. The embed is basically a tiny kind of dap that you can use to add to any kind of website purely by pasting this iframe snippet of code and have people claim your token. That is very cool in my opinion and all it takes is to paste this in that website. You can also configure it with a custom gateway, RPC and even a relay URL. Now if we jump into the code part here, I talked about it before and I talked about it throughout the series, but it's because I'm very excited about it. And later in this series, we will actually show you how to fully customize and build a dApp from start to finish. So sit tight and wait for that video series to come out. Then we have the settings and in here you can set your basic information on this token and also change who is going to get the primary sales as well as the platform fee. This is cool because it means we can always update who's going to receive the funds after we've deployed the token. We can even put it to a payment splitter, which I'll show you in a later video. But that is it. And we have got our whole token over here, ready for people to claim. We can verify by copying the address going to the test network, testing out if it actually is on the Rinkeby test network. And here it is. So that's it for today's tutorial. I really hope that you enjoyed this journey with me so far. And I'm going to try and put out a lot of videos on third web in the future of this playlist. So stick around and learn more with me. Remember to give me a thumbs up, a comment and subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers for now.